Hey kids, my name's Kira and welcome to Kids Life Online. I'm so excited that you're joining us for Kids Life today. This week we are learning all about prayer. We're going to learn why we pray and how we pray. A little bit later, Alicia and Anthony are going to give us their five top prayers. So make sure you stick around till the end. But first, we're going to worship God. So jump to your feet, turn up the volume and let's worship together. Hey kids, today we're learning all about prayer. What is prayer and how do we pray? Did you know that prayer is just talking to God? And it's a really important way for us to spend time with God and be his best friend. And an important part of friendship is communication, right? I mean, you know how you and I are super duper best friends. Would you still be my super duper best friend if I never talked to you? I don't think so. That would be pretty hard. And it's the same with God. When we're best friends with God and we want to spend time with Him, we can use prayer as a way to talk to Him. And through prayer, we can praise God. We can thank God. We can apologize for any mistakes or bad choices we've made. We can ask His forgiveness and we can let God know how we feel. Have you ever told someone a story or told someone something going on in your life and you felt like they weren't listening? That can be really hard, can't it? But the good news is with prayer is that God is always listening to your prayers and He always answers your prayers. But how do we actually pray? Are there special words we have to say? Are there special things we have to do? Well, kind of, but not really. When I pray, there are three things I always try and include in my prayers. And that is, thank you, sorry, and please. When I say thank you in my prayers, I try and think of something in my life that I can thank God for, something that's good in my life that I can thank God for. And it is not that hard to think of some. When I've prayed, I've said thank you for my family, for my friends, for kids' life, even for the air I breathe every day. 
I wouldn't have any of those things without God. And when I say thank you in my prayers, it reminds me of all the amazing gifts God has given me and that he gives them to me because he loves me. Next, I say sorry to God. Nobody is perfect. I am definitely not perfect. And so when I pray, I try and think of a mistake or a bad choice I might have made or a way I may have disobeyed God. And when I pray, I say sorry to God for those things and I ask him to forgive me. And the Bible says that God forgives us for all our mistakes and all our bad choices. And when I say sorry in my prayers and I remember that God forgives me, it helps me make the right choice next time. And finally, when I pray, I say, please, I ask God for something. Now, I don't just ask God for a new PlayStation 5 or a new Lego set. I ask God for something I might need or even ask God for something someone else might need. In the past, I've asked God for patience to show my family. I've asked him for courage to make the right choice. I've asked God for kindness to show others. And sometimes I've even asked God to help someone who may not have a home or to be with someone who may not have a family. And when I ask God for something, when I say please in my prayers, it reminds me that God can do anything. And it reminds me that he always wants to give us good gifts. And even when I don't get the thing I may ask for, I know that God's way is the best way. And those three things are a great recipe for prayer. Thank you, sorry, and please. So kids, this week my challenge for you is to pray every day. Choose a time of the day where you might pray. It might be as you wake up and you're having breakfast. It might be when you have dinner or when you're in the shower or maybe when you're going to sleep. But when you pray, find one thing you can say thank you to God for one thing you can say sorry for, and one thing that you can say please for. And that way, kids, we can really spend time with God in prayer and become more like Jesus. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much that you have given us prayer as a way to spend time with you. We are so sorry for the times when we may have not spent as much time in prayer as you would want us to. We pray you forgive us and help us love prayer and love spending time with you. Please help us this week to remember that you are always with us and that we can use prayer to open our hearts to you, to tell you how we feel and to say thank you, sorry and please. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey kids, welcome back to Top 5, where we rank our top 5 things in any given category. Today, we are ranking our top 5 prayers, things that we love to pray for. What? I love prayer. But Alicia, what do these whiteboards in front of us have to do with prayer? Well, we are going to be writing down the things that we love to pray for, but we're going to leave some letters out so that you at home can guess the words we're writing. Ooh, sounds good. Let's get into it. All right, so I'll go first. Coming in at number five, I like to pray for... Hmm. Mm, Starts with an F. Is it uh, family? Family? First go, Alicia, congratulations. Thank you. I love praying for my family because even though we don't always get along, I'm so thankful that God gave me the family that he did. And I pray every day that he gives me the strength to love them and to keep them safe. And at number four, I love to pray Four. What do you think? Ooh, starts with an W. Yes, okay. it does. There's two R's and an E. Mm-hmm. I think there's only one one it can be. Warren. Who's mm, Warren? No, not no, Warren. Not Warren? Uh-uh. Oh, Try what? again. Oh, is that Worries? It is Worries. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kids, I love to pray for the things that I'm worried about. Sometimes I get stressed about school or family or friends. But I love to be able to bring it to God because I know that He wants to hear my worries and that He helps me through them. Alright, so coming in at number three, we have... Alicia, what do you think? Friends? Friends? That's exactly right. We have got friends. Now, Alicia, I love praying for my friends because I'm thankful for them, first of all. 
all my great friends, but also I pray for all my friends that don't know Jesus and I pray that they find his love and um, his mercy. And for number two, we have, what do you think? Ooh, okay, so I see W, I, D and O. Mm -hmm. Is it like Widow, like Black Widow from the Avengers? I do love Black Widow. Okay. But that's not it. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, wisdom. So good. Oh, well done. Go. Kids, wisdom is knowing the right thing to do and doing it. When I pray for wisdom, I pray that God would help me to make the right choices. Yeah. So maybe an example of wisdom could be if my parents tell me to clean my room, I do it. That's exactly right. All right. So big number one. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it is. Oh my goodness. That is a long word. It is. Uh... Uh, is it forgiveness? Oh, Alicia, you are too good at this. You've got like every single one first go and I've struggled, Anthony. so good job. Forgiveness is when you say sorry for God for all the sins you've committed. And look, I make a lot of mistakes. So I really love praying and asking God to forgive me for my sins. And you know what? Every time he does. Every time? Yeah, every time. How good. It's awesome. And the fact that God always forgives us shows how much he truly loves us. Well, there you go, kids. Those are our top five prayers. Maybe this week you can pray for some of those things. We hope they help you become more like Jesus. All of us here at Top 5, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for joining us, kids. We had so much fun together. And this week, remember, you're amazing, God loves you, and you're a special part of His family. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Bye.